India has 160 million 5G subscribers right now. And that number is going to go up to 500 million by the end of 2027. That's not me saying it, that's Ericsson saying it. And if we have to reach that number, it's not the 10 to 20,000 market that needs to grow exponentially, but the sub 10K range. And that's where Snapdragon has a plan for India with the new Snapdragon 4S Gen 2. So the 4S Gen 2 will power phones in the 8,000 rupee price category and that's going to be the shot in the arm that our country needs. Now at the Snapdragon for India event, it was not just the 4S Gen 2, there's also the Snapdragon X Elite and here's everything that I saw here. I'm sure that you guys want to know what is the architecture of the 4S Gen 2. Well, you've got two Cortex A78 cores and six Cortex A55 cores. And the performance should be somewhere in between the 4 Gen 1 and the 4 Gen 2. But the most important feature of the 4S Gen 2 that will matter to the audience that is going to buy it is one Gbps throughput on 5G. You also get support for Wi-Fi 5, it'll support 90 Hz Full HD Plus displays or 120Hz HD Plus displays and the rest of the features like the camera, the RAM support, all of that you can see on your screen right now. And you must be wondering, which is the first brand that's going to bring out the first phone with the 4S Gen 2? Of course, it's going to be Xiaomi. I'm probably guessing that they will get their Redmi lineup with the 4S Gen 2 first and that should happen by the end of the year. We will be the first smartphone brand in India to launch a device powered by the Qualcomm 4S Gen 2 chipset later this year. And soon, you know, Geo and other brands should also follow for its Gen 2. The Snapdragon X Elite and X Plus is also a conversation that Snapdragon is having here at the Snapdragon for India event. Now, obviously, we've already tested the Asus Vivo book uh, with the Snapdragon X Elite. And if you haven't checked that out yet, go check it out. But over here, we've got more OEM commitment, which means that a lot of brands apart from Asus have also committed to come into India. Let me show you. Come. So, starting with the Surface and commitment. You've got Dell, the XPS line. You've all, of course got Asus. You've also got HP and Lenovo, all of them making their commitments. So I saw a bunch of demos here and quite a few of them are pretty interesting. There was this one demo where I could control presentation by tilting my head left or right so it would move forward or move backwards. Damn cool stuff using the NPU entirely. There was DJ Pro where there was this track with multiple layers and I could, you know, single out the vocals over there and it all happened again on NPU. Nothing was on CPU and it happens really fast as well. On DaVinci Resolve, there was this masking demo and that entire thing you know, it runs 3x faster than Intel. That's how powerful Snapdragon X Elite is right now. Of course, we're waiting for that Adobe Premiere Post support, but that's coming in August. We all know that. And the games that they had on Showcase uh, were, of course, Control and Baldur's Gate. So that's good. But there are 1,200 games that are natively tuned for ARM on Snapdragon X Elite at the moment. At the same time, there is still a long way to go and... I think that the future is looking good. So with the Snapdragon 4S Gen 2 and the Snapdragon X Elite chips, obviously Snapdragon or Qualcomm is bullish for India. The idea to power the next 100 million, 200 million 5G phones in the country is definitely a noble one, I'd say, because that will get everybody connected. And the fact that they're getting PC reborn with the X Elite series, yeah, I will. You know how gungo I am about Snapdragon X Elite and ARM for Windows because genuinely what we experienced with the Vivo book, we are hoping to experience with all the OEMs that we saw here at Snapdragon for India. So I'd like to know what your thoughts are on the Snapdragon 4S Gen 2 and the XLE in the comment section below. I'll see you guys for the next one. Until then, keep tracking and stay safe.